All this filament, an empty printer, let's print something. It's Filament Friday. This week's Filament Friday suggestion comes from subscriber Jimmy Lupa Lupa. It's a pair of plastic scissors found on Thingiverse from user Drilly. There's four pieces to this design. There's two longer pieces that form the main body of the scissors, and then there's two extra pieces that make the handle wider. I just brought these into XYZ wear, and from here I'll slice them, and then we'll send it off to the printer. I chose the infill at 30%, and then I followed that up with a 0.2 layer height. I left everything else pretty much standard, and I didn't need supports. So from there I click to export it and slice it up. And here's the finished design, all sliced up and ready to go. So I just verified the settings, 0.2 layer height, medium density is what it's reporting. It's going to take 10 meters of plastic and a little over two and a half hours. Everything looked good, so I clicked on print to send it to my DaVinci 1.0. Okay, so the print is done, and now I'll remove it. I'm just going to use my paddle to slide them off. They're coming off pretty easy. So there's one side. Yep. Easy. And there's the other. So I've got two pieces. This one's a little bit rougher and a little bit not so straight, I guess because uh, being mushed down on my bed. This one's pretty nice actually. So there's a little bit of difference in shape. But these will go together like that. And then these extra pieces just get acetoned in place or glued in place, however you want to do it. Looks like they just add extra support to the handles. So I think I can test it without them for right now. Now what I did do is I checked it while it was cooling and figured out that this was the right size nut or bolt for it and I got one long enough that I could put I got this plastic nut and then I got a second one so I'm gonna put the plastic nut on the screw and then I have a second one here that I'm gonna put on so I can tighten nut against nut because I know these things need to be fairly tight, stay tight. So I got it tight now. And then I'll put the second nut tight against the first one. And hopefully that will stop it from loosening while I try to cut here. Yeah, it's loosening a little bit while I do this. Probably should have just used a wrench. Instead of just my fingers. Oh, it's working okay. But the big thing is, will it cut paper? A little bit of a rough start. Cut paper. Now it's a little bit zigzagged and there's some a little bit of tearing here but and it's loosening up. It's still loosening up with that double nut. I wonder if that make, how big a difference that makes. That first cut is kind of tough. And the last one. Now I wonder if I can sharpen these at all. I'm going to use my finishing tool that I've showed in previous videos. And I'll get rid of some of that bottom layer that gets mushed down. So I'm just going to drag this across and it pivots so it shouldn't dig in too much. So I'm just going to drag this across here. See if I can get this to sharpen at all. I don't know if this is doing a whole lot. It's taking off some of the rough edging. 
Let me try the other side. Oh yeah, that's working nice there. Hmm, feels like it's got a little bit of an edge. Let's try this one. Now this one's straighter. This one was a little bit raggedy or, or a little bit of a rough edge from being printed. In fact, it's got a little nerd here on the end. This one came out straighter, and this tool just glides along that. So it definitely likes that straight edge. Now I'll do this side. And this is probably the side that gets, you know, mushed down and could use a little bit of a sharper edge. Hmm. It feels sharper. I don't know if it will be. So let's see if that's any different. Still doesn't want to start real easy. Doesn't feel a whole lot different, so I don't know if I sharpened it or not. It's just that first cut is the tough one. But overall, they worked. 3D printed paper scissors. I don't know how thick you could cut. I don't think you can cut too thick with this. But I can definitely feel the handles flexing as I do this. So that's probably what these are for to help stop that. So I'll just put these guys on there and stiffen it up. But they, they built it so it flexes. You know, there's nothing stopping that. Even these heavy, these added pieces line up with that so they still flex. But I'll put some acetone on these and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so I pull out my 100% acetone. It's nail polish remover that I got at the local uh, CVS pharmacy. But it is 100% acetone. Now you can buy acetone, but to me this is the easiest. Is just go buy a bottle of this. This is a fresh bottle, so I gotta pop that open. Now I just poured it in the cap and work from there. And spill a little bit down my finger. Now I do recommend you wear rubber gloves with this, and I haven't shown that in previous videos. But when I start working with it and it softens up the plastic, I end up with little bits of plastic on the end of my finger. So I actually bought some rubber gloves. I just don't have them here right now. So I recommend that if you're going to try this. So I'm going to just acetone that one on. So I'll just dip this in with a cheap little horsehair brush. And I'll just, I guess I'll put a little bit on this one too to soften it up. Put that in place. You can feel it getting sticky already. And it's already gluing down. Now I'll do the other side. You don't have to put much on. I just cover every every part of the surface. Now when you do this, don't then rub your eye after you've touched this because you don't want to get the stuff in your eye. Line that guy up. I don't even have to clamp these. These are just sticking right together. And it looks like they're fitting pretty flat. I got one spot here where it looks like I got a little bit of warpage on the end of that extra piece because they're not going together right there. There's a little bit of gap. But everywhere else they fit nice and flat together so it was a pretty good print. Ooh, I hope it yeah, I got a little bit in the, the joint there. So 
So I think I'll take this nut off, loosen it up so those can dry. Yeah, because I dripped a little bit right in the joint and they were starting to glue together. So I'll take those apart and I'll put them together, back together when everything dries. And here's a close-up of the finished design. So that's it. That's this week's Film of Friday. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. We're almost up to 2,000 subscribers, so it's been a pretty phenomenal growth in a short period of time. If you have an idea for a future Filament Friday project, leave it in the comment section below, or you can send it to me directly in email. Now, the only thing I do suggest is to try to make it something I can print within a day. I mean, I try to get these done for every Filament Friday, but that requires me to film it, build it, edit it, all the steps, and if it's you know something larger than that, it's probably not going to be selected. I've seen some really, really cool designs, but many of them would take multiple days to print and they're kind of complex for something that I got to compact down into a week with filming and everything else. So keep that in mind when you do suggest something but keep the suggestions coming. I'll also probably along the way I got some things that I want to print that I might show you I think are interesting and that's all I got so thanks for watching I'll see you next time.